Hey guys, in this video I'm going to show you how to uh, install the leaked Lollipop firmware for the Galaxy S4 um, which is coming with the 5.0.1 official leaked firmware if you want to test it out, you know, how it looks like and uh, all the other stuff uh, so before uh, watching this video, make sure you check out my full review on a review on the uh, leaked firmware that I did and where I talked about all the stuff and all that, the things that are not working and uh, all the consequences and all that stuff, you can check that out. But uh, for this tutorial, uh, I'm using the i9-505. This is for the i9-505 because uh, the Qualcomm uh, 4G variant here. And uh, basically the leak firmware was for the i9-500, but someone out there in the XDA have uh, kind of like ported it uh, to the Galaxy S4 i9-505, but it is a failed port, the Wi-Fi is not working, and I also get the keyboard, uh, you know, problem, keyboard error message, that keyboard has stopped working and all that. Uh, but this is by no means that I'm saying that this is comp uh, compatible for daily usage. This is not for daily usage, this is just for checking purpose, uh, the looks and all that. Uh, that's why I'm saying to, to first to do check out my review where I talked uh, in detail about that, just a full review about that. Uh, but anyways, uh, here we have uh, the TWRP recovery. Now to install it, first download the uh, firmware for the i9505 from the link down in the description below. And when you download it, make sure uh, you extract it on uh, your uh, uh, desktop where it is. it feels easy. And uh, what you need to do is uh, you need to have first a rooted Galaxy S4 i9-505 then also make sure you have the TWRP recovery. Now TWRP recovery is uh, the recovery that you have to use to install this leak like a firmware. Now uh, extract that zip file uh, on your desktop then copy the extracted zip file to your folder, let me just show you, to the internal memory of your Galaxy S4. There's a specific folder uh, when you use TWRP recovery. That's a backup folder that we have. Now, if I go here into Advanced and uh, File Manager, you can see that if I go here into my internal memory card, this, these are the options that you are going to see on your internal memory card when you connect it to your PC. Now, what you need to do is you need to go inside of uh, this folder this is called as TWRP this is the uh, zip that you need to download lrx 2 zip you need to extract this uh, first extract on your PC then copy it or just directly extract it in this folder TWRP copy this into this folder there will be folder inside of the TWRP you'll find backup folder and inside of this you will find a e 20 edb 63 folder where you have your backups. Now I have the previous backup for the 5.0.2 Lollipop ROM that I was using on the S4. Now to continue, be sure that you make a backup first and when you make a backup first um, you can uh, just restore it if you have some problem with this one. Of course you will have problems and you can easily restore uh, but make sure you make a backup first and when you make a backup first you actually create this file if I go here into advanced, then uh, file manager, up level, I can show you that. This is the TWRP folder that you need uh, where you have to copy this. When you go inside of this, you have this backup folder. And you can see this folder is created when you make a backup of your ROM. So be sure to make a backup that's compulsory, make a backup of your current ROM. And when you make it, you, you create this folder here. And here you'll find your backup of the current ROM that you're using right now. Now, here you need to copy the extracted zip file of the firmware that you, need, uh, that you have downloaded from the link in the description. You can see that this is the extra extracted um, firmware and what you need to do when you copy, uh, after copying it, go back, reboot into TWRP recovery by holding down the power, volume up, and the home key at the same time for a couple of seconds you'll be in the recovery now here do a wipe that effect reset or you can skip that uh, but I did that uh, for uh, you know safety purpose and all that uh, so um, just click on the restore and select the firmware file and just swipe to restore and your device will take a couple of minutes and then boom it will have the 5.1.1 lollipop just reboot and wait for the process to complete and all that wait for the phone to set aloud and you 
test out this lead form mirror, how it looks like and its improvement and uh, everything. I've done a detailed review. If you are not interested in installing it, just check out the review. But if you are wanting to just test out how it looks like and lollipop and all that cool stuff, if you're rating uh, that much, then you can check that out. Uh, but anyways, uh, if you reboot in the system, I can show you that it is working fine. Uh, for its usage, but I'll get the uh, but the Wi-Fi is not working, and I get that uh, keyboard message popping up all the time. Uh, so, uh, so of course, uh, if you have any question, any problems, do let me know in the comment section down below, and uh, also do subscribe for the tech videos and all that. Be sure to check out the review, and uh, so I'll see you in my next video. Peace out and subscribe.